Hi, my name is Wesley Jennings. I'm Ryan Crank. I'm Kendall Gamble, and we're over here by the historic seawall in Jamestown Island. We've been excavating over here for the past few weeks, and we're going to take a look at what we've been finding. Welcome, Welcome to, to Dig, Dig Deeper. Deeper. Between 1607 and 1902, it's estimated that there was about 400 feet of lateral land loss due to the river's erosion of the island here. So, by 1902, the Army Corps of Engineers, led by Samuel Young, constructed this seawall along the APVA coastline. What you can see here is our current excavation. We are taking out the builder's trench that ran alongside the sidewalk that was put right next to the seawall. Normally when we excavate out in the field, we have to go through several modern layers of landscaping, including what we call plow zone. However, because of the heavy construction in this area, we have to go quite a bit deeper through that modern layer before we can get to the historic materials underneath. What we found so far include this modern sewage drain, three water uh, lines, and riprap, large stones used for erosion mitigation. And we can tell that these modern utilities are cutting through those historic layers because in the fill associated with them, we find historic artifacts. So over here, we have a large redware ceramic base poking through the trenching associated with the sewage drain. These test units over here are mostly modern features at these levels. We had a couple buildings and structures that used to be in this location. Uh, the gate that sits a little further north now used to be right here as this used to be the entrance to Jamestown. There was also a gatehouse here. We believe that this septic tank was a part of that gatehouse or at least associated with it. Unlike the other two, this test unit, the furthest east of the three, has experienced excavation in the past. In the late 90s and early 2000s, archaeologists at Jamestown Rediscovery excavated here while looking for the remains of James Fort. While digging here, they discovered a midden, which was essentially a trash pit for the colonists. They also discovered a palisade and outwork ditch related to the fort. We are revisiting this because we have some unanswered questions and we want to learn more about the defenses of James Fort. We're going to be excavating out here for quite a while and we expect to reach those historic layers relatively soon. So stay tuned for more updates and thank you for watching.